Do you agree with Najib's selection? Can you comment about that? Which particular statement? Uh, they say that uh, there, he, he's, not, he's not suitable for leading the coalition. He's going to... But he's not going to stand a chance to win. Well, election, election is still very far away. And I think uh, Nazri, uh, more of Nazri, not so much of KJ. I think strictly personal statement, his personal view. Mm -hmm. And I think if you ask two, three people, they may have another view, different view. Mm -hmm. So we have decided there's nothing wrong in members to express their view. So it is not something like a disciplinary matter. It's strictly personal opinion and he's entitled to it. So, okay? like so it's that. non issue as far as we are concerned. So which means other uh, members of BM actually was agree with that. Sorry? Other members of BM actually was agree with the selection of Nadir. The appointment? Uh, yeah. Of course it was uh, agreed during the last uh, VN the uh, Tangkwasa Tertinggi meeting, it was a consensus, uh, and uh, appointment was done according to normal procedure. But he said that what uh, Dr. Sri Najib eventually he want to become the president again. Who? Nazri say that? No, that's not fair. How can you make such accusation? Dr. Sri Najib knows better. Kalau nak jadi pengurusi, tak boleh macam itu. Nak jadi pengurusi, kena jadi pengurusi parti-parti komponen. Dia tak boleh jadi pengurusi dengan terus pergi jadi pengurusi datang kuasa penasihat. Perlembagaan Barisan Nasional very clear. Pengurusi dipilih daripada parti-parti komponen. Dato' Najib kena jadi Presiden MCA ke, Presiden MIC ke, Presiden AMNO ke. Tentunya itu tidak berbangkit sekarang. Saya fikir benda ni dah dibincang terlebih, terlajak daripada isu sebenar. Ya? Saya fikir elok tidak perlu ahli-ahli parti bawa pergi terlalu jauh. It is a non-issue. It is not even a disciplinary matter. It is just an administrative decision. Uh, let let us respect the decision. Uh, but members are quite free to to say their, their views. No, because Nazri and Karim, right, he was, he was criticized about Najib's role as penasihat yesterday. Can you like, comment about this? What? Comment about what? Uh, because Why? they say that you shouldn't let Najib lead the party because they have a lot of scandal. No, and... there's a pro and contra. You know, Nazri and Kairi, they have their own uh, uh, argument, you know, against Najib to be appointed as the pengurusi chairman of the panel, advisory panel to be end. But they are also pro you know, in the sense that Najib is now, you know, enjoying this uh, Bosco phenomena. This uh, Bosco phenomena, everywhere he goes, he, he seems to attract a lot of people, young and old, you know. And these people, they voluntarily, you know, not being forced, uh, nobody arranged for them, but they come forward to meet him and seems to show their support towards him, you know. Bosku, Bosku. Don't underestimate this phenomena. They are also voters. Some people say, are young people, you know, they have no, no weight in uh, politics. They are not voters. Eh, hey, they are voters, you know. They are 21 and above are voters. And now if the government or the usul is approved, but then they want to reduce it to lower the age, to 18, then all these young people are going to be uh, uh, very uh, strong uh, political force, you know, in the election. So if they are uh, together with Najib, with this phenomena, Bosco phenomena, so why not? He can help uh, what they call Amno and Barisan National. You see, there is the the, one of the reasons I, I think why we <coughs> appointed him as an advisor. But as you say that it's not even a discussion, the decision is not made by the Supreme Council. What Supreme Council? The, the decision like uh, select. It was, it was appointed at the meeting, at the BN meeting, why? Mm -hmm. No? Chat by Dr. Zahid. Everybody seems to agree to, 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 to approve it. 
So what is the issue? But there are people saying that, uh, you know, because of Najib, ada problem, court case, banyak, so many uh, masalah, tu, then people cannot accept him to be leading UMNO and Barisan Nasional. Yeah? But actually, his position, his post, is not leading or the president of the party. He's not chairman of Barisan Nasional. He's not president of UMNO. He's just advisor. And because of his position as a, a chairman of the advisory con uh, council or panel, it doesn't mean that he's going to be the next prime minister if we win the election. Some people are worried, oh, Latu Najib, if I'm making a comeback, he wants to be a, a PM again. Who said so? Nobody says so. The party never says so. Do you think the party should take any action on Nazri or Kairi? Why take action? They give their opinion. We listen. Huh? Everybody or no, can give their own uh, opinion, you know. Let them talk. Huh? No, we listen. And we also hope they can listen to us. You know, everybody listen. Huh? Finally, who is in the position to make a decision? He make a decision. Huh?